And as we ring in the new year, we welcome a new year of fundraising and support for cancer research. Here's how one local community is doing their part to support the fight against cancer. Relayers from across the country have come together today to do the first lap of Relay for Life 2023. And in Limestone County at Athens Fitness Park, community members came together to do just that. My granny, um, she was, um, had cancer and I wanted to come with her. About 13 and a half years ago, I discovered through a routine mammogram that I had breast cancer. It was one of the darkest days of my life. Marcia Day, a cancer survivor, makes it her mission to support other survivors and advocate for cancer research. She participates in Relay for Life, the largest community fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. Everyone involved with Relay for Life is supposed to take a lap, might be together, it might be on their own, and post it to a Facebook page so that we can share and get kind of national enthusiasm for our brand. Recent data from the American Cancer Society estimates over 30,000 Alabamians were diagnosed with cancer in 2022, with over 10,000 estimated deaths. You might be a survivor. You may have lost someone to cancer. You may be someone that will face it in the future, and we can all work together to really make it better outcomes for our survivors to have more survivors and to support the people that are going through it. Sherry Hammonds with the Limestone Branch of the Cancer Society encourages more people to join their volunteer group. We embrace anybody and everybody to come and don't ever think that you've waited too long. You haven't. Join us anytime. And Day says she's grateful for the opportunity to be an advocate, survivor, and volunteer for Relay for Life. I am honored to have lived. I'm glad that God has a purpose for my life and that he has allowed me to be a servant in my community. In May, Relay for Life of Limestone County will host their biggest annual fundraiser, celebrating local cancer survivors, remembering those we've lost, and fundraising for cancer research.